Uh, well, it's nice to be here and nice to be able to say a couple things, uh, reflect on where we are so far. Um, I'm going to keep these very short because I'm sure everyone's just very excited to get to the, bi the cultural festival, biocultural festival. Um, so uh, reflecting on, on where we are so far, I mean, of course, the meeting's been fast fastidiously organized, as we would expect. <laughs> Uh, from this wonderful staff, um, especially like to shout out to the staff associates, Son Sona, Daniel, Jessica, and Jake, who are working very hard behind the scenes. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So I'm going to introduce three adjectives to describe where we are, where, to reflect on Terrytown so far. One is improved. So um, if you look around, maybe when you first came, you would have noticed the Tarrytown Showcase, which, again, the associates worked very hard to put together. Um, sleek, well-designed. You might have uh, noticed the, the footlights shining up and the sort of the echoing across the colors. And they tell me it will turn into a cultural festival disco arena um, during the, after the meeting today. <laughs> Um, you also may have noticed the water bottles that are at least 50% bigger this year. Um, and they actually match the signage this year. So um, that's a huge improvement. Although today, sitting at the table um, with Judy, she um, actually brought the, the 2011 edition of the water bottle. Um, it was, if you remember, it was blue and metallic, um, but smaller. Um, so she was kind of going retro uh, with, the, with the bottles. So that was, that was interesting. So um, that's being glib, but I think there are some interesting uh, improvements, uh, important improvements, um, and, or, or differences. And, and one of them is, to, not to be cheesy, but to pick up on the water bottle image, I think there's a thirst that um, that we were observing, or I'm observing, um, and, and a few of you have mentioned this too, that there's, there's an energy here um, which is a little bit higher pitched uh, than there has been in the last two years. Not that the last two years haven't been great, um, but a kind of energy, a momentum, um, and I, it's hard to know exactly what to attribute that to. Um, I think part of it is the, um, the third word, which is I think things are getting um, a little more cohesive, which is a little bit, uh, or has a danger, which is you, um, you lose um, productive dissonance and diversity. But I think we're developing cohesion without losing some of those wonderful elements. Um, an example was uh, from, one example uh, I'll, I'll draw on was from today's uh, track on genetic information. And um, out of our panelists and our discussion, we, um, we found concerns that were coming out of different experiences and traditions, but were well woven together. Concerns about, in biobanks, community involvement and trustworthiness of, of research, worries about transparency of informed consent forms, and do people really know what's happening with their material. Um, Anna Yobliner brought up some of the big structural political economy issues with biobanks uh, and information and questioning the epistemic underpinnings of the genetic, um, uh, dominant uh, genetic uh, way of talking and, and seeing. Um, and, um, and Esteban talked about uh, developing countries using genes to stake out powerful claims of sovereignty and cultural heritage. These are very diverse um, ideas, but they are woven together. We're woven together in a way that could really uh, 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 come together in this, um, in this meeting. I think that's just one example of, of what, what we've been doing here. Um, the third one is interwoven, and um, I think we touched on this directly when we talked about academic academia and activism last night. Um, but I want to maybe detail that a little bit more and do it less in terms of who is what and in terms of the, what we actually do, what we do. I think in this meeting this year, we've uh, been good at, at interweaving four things. Talk about, talking about the normative foundations, um, large normative ideas that, that, um, that provide a kind of um, undercurrent and help guide us in terms of the things that we'd like to focus on. Uh, empirical knowledge building, which can be done not only by academics, but by activists too. 
um, the production of new knowledge, perhaps guided uh, and, and instructed by values um, articulated in, in the normative foundations. Policy initiatives and campaigns, which again, I think last night we were talking a little too much about academia being the foundation for activism, but I think, in, at least in my own work, I often get clues from people who are in the real world doing stuff on the ground, and they help inform the kinds of research questions uh, that then get picked up in my work. So these things are flowing in multiple directions. And the fourth is tactics, um, communication tactics, other kinds of tactics. So I think these four things, developing normative foundations, empirical knowledge building, policy initiatives and campaigns, and tactics are four thing, kinds of things that we're doing. And I think we're seeing in this meeting how they're interweaving uh, more than maybe we have in the past. To illustrate, today in the, in the norm, um, the values meeting, um, Molly Shanley, who provided a, a really wonderful and rich commentary on the document that a few folks have, have put together, said that, that um, looking at the document and then doing the communications uh, this morning piece, she made new connections about perhaps some of the values um, become talking pieces or um, key words that can, can fill out some of the uh, communication strategies or communication um, efforts that, that we can be engaged in. So I've just enjoyed it greatly. Um, I look forward to um, tonight and tomorrow, and um, I'll pass over the, the podium.